here welcome back to another video of H&H &H Express Model and Scale Trains today we're gonna continue with the shuttle train and as you can see there there's a section of it and it's all the way up to there so 12 feet long I still need to add a little bit of track to the end but that will come later but today it's gonna be the part where we install this so all this mess the infrared sensors, the Arduino, and of course the motor driver, the L298N. And we're gonna install that at that end of the track because I don't want to be doing it over here. The only thing what will come here is the infrared sensor for now. We might later change that into a hull sensor or a read contact. But we will see how it goes when it is right outside that the sensor is a little bit blocked from the infrared light. So let's do that. So let's take this out and then we're gonna work on there for the sensors and then we're gonna go that way. So before we're gonna install the infrared sensor, I want to show you something. So this is the infrared sensor as we have it. And if we want to install it, there is a small hole here where I can put a screw underneath, so here at this end. Uh, and then I would bend the infrared sensor like this and then screw it on, so like this. But that's a little bit wacky to install it, so I would like to install it the other way around because it's flat at this surface, I can either use... Um, what is it um, like this so that it's glued there and then you can still remove it or you can screw it down but then I need to move the infrared sensors here to the other side so that is what I'm gonna do first I'm gonna create two of them flip the infrared sensor to the other side and then we're gonna continue with the installation so as mentioned I was going to remove these infrared LEDs and put them at the other side. And that is this one. So here you can see the two together. This is the original and here I flipped it. I tested them and it works. So I have two for an easy mount. So that means one will be over there and the other one will be over here. So I'm going to use a very small screw. Let me show you. So this is the screw. It will be pushed through the hole. And I need to make sure that it doesn't uh, hit any components. And then I can screw it in. But do not split the wood. I'm going to pre-drill it. So I need to check because I would like to have a uh, train travel here uh, with some uh, uh, wagons, maybe one in the front and one in the back. So, and this is the longest one which I have. So that would be like this. So you can see it here, that's the end. What I'm gonna do, because I don't have any uh, stoppers, I'm gonna attach a block of wood here to prevent that it's, uh, if you can see it, to prevent that the uh, wagon falls off. I did already a preparation, but I can only attach it when it is off the wall. So for safety, I'm gonna use a Teflon standoff and screw that in here. So then it looks like this. I will uh, bring you up closer so you can see. So here you can see it. It's on the board and there is enough clearance for the car. The connector is at the bottom but I will uh, add some Dupont connectors 
and I will use a longer cable going that way to the controller. So, and there is enough clearance here between the infrared sensors and the wagon. So let's go over there and do the same. So this is the end. I'm gonna put a block here as well and I'm gonna use two cars. Uh, that means that I will put the sensor over here. Let me drill a hole on here. It might be that I'm gonna change that later, but at least you have the idea. That's on its place and now let's do the wiring so here you can see that the infrared sensor is installed and it has power and it is also working if I'm using a wagon then it detects the wagon so that's good but if I'm moving it closer to the wall it also detects the wall so that's not good so we need to set up the intensity of detecting a cargo so let me turn a little bit so it's now off so let's see if it still detects the wagon so now it detects the wagon and it doesn't detect the wall so this one is good so I will do that with the other side as well and then we will test the track so here I did the same I made sure that the ceiling is not detected or this wall and if I push this wagon you see that it is detected over here so now let's uh, hook up a transformer and see if the train runs and I'm using a regular transformer like this just to let the train run before I'm gonna attach it to the Arduino so let me uh, put the camera in a different angle so you can see the train coming so here is the transformer. And you see that the train runs. So the power to the track is correct. So let's get it back. And that works. So now let's hook up the Arduino with the sketch for the shuttle train and see if it works. So here you see the transformer that is connected to the motor driver and this is the Arduino and the Arduino there are the sensors connected to it as shown when I mounted them. I turn the power off but I will go up because the uh, track is up here and you will also see a screen capture of the output of the Arduino and when we start the Arduino the first thing what the train does is it moves to the right. So let me move up the camera so you can see what the train does. So here is the train, I will zoom out, out a little bit. So that we can easily follow it. So as you can see, the train is detected here by the sensor. And as mentioned in the beginning, when the program starts, the train always moves to the right. And that is what we're going to see. So I'm going to turn up the power and you will see that the train will start moving and you will see that on the capture output as well that as soon as it hits the right 
sensor, it stops 10 seconds and then it goes back. So let me show you that. So let me follow the train. And in the back you see that there is also a sensor. And as soon when the train hits the sensor, it will stop. Now it waits 10 seconds and then it will return. And the way the program works is in the link here in that corner over there. Where is it? There, that corner. Uh, to the video which I created uh, in regards to the shuttle train. So here you can see it moves back and on the screen you see that uh, the sensor on the left will be detected that there is a train. That should be now. And then it waits 10 seconds and then it continues. So that's the basic of that shuttle train. So as you can see it works without any problems. So let's do it one more time. And there it hits the uh, right sensor. And it stops. Waits 10 seconds. And then it returns back. So with that said, if you like these videos, please give it a uh, thumbs up. If you want to see more of these videos, please consider to subscribe to my channel. In the next video, I will show you that I have everything mounted underneath the board. And let's see what we can do with this test track as well. So we're going to add some power sections to it. And then we will continue in using this track to be either DC or DCC control, uh, but that is for the future. So thank you again and thank you for watching and I will see you in the next video. Thank you and goodbye.